right, you guys. Welcome back to Jamie's Crazy Life. We did the whole dump at the dump station and everything. And when I got back in the camper, I smelled like, sh okay, I smelled it, okay? Crap. There was an odor. Well, Katie had gone and checked the toilet and everything. But I hadn't put one of those... Um, blue things it turns my hands blue that you put in when your tanks clean so um, I said well we'll pull over someplace and I'll put a blue thing in the tank well when I went back there it was like a crap explosion had happened in the camper um, I don't know what happened exactly um, everything seems to be working fine plumbing wise and everything the only thing I can think of is that when I dump I have what's called a flush spot well I haven't used it a whole lot and the hose that they had at the dump station had a pointed nozzle on it not a threaded nozzle just a pointed nozzle so I kind of like pushed it up against the hole and shot the water in all I can think of is that when I did that I didn't flush out I blew it back into the camper so if that's what I did I've learned a lesson because Thank goodness it was a church over here, and thank goodness we found it. And oh, thank goodness I overbuy Lysol wipes because I think we went through what two or three of them. Four. They were open packages, but still we used up four Lysol white those yellow containers. We used four of them to clean this mess up. Um, so um, I think I could walk barefoot on the floor now. Um, it had only gotten on the bottom edge of the bathroom door around the commode. So that's why I'm thinking I shot it up. And so the, I cleaned around the commode. I'll, I'll, I'll wash things. I'll check things again tonight. Um, I don't feel like I got anything on me. Uh, the, you go driving down there, but it's the yeah, we, um, oh, it was, it was nasty. I mean, have to find some place to fix it. it was nasty. <laughs> If that's what happens to people in bigger amounts, then I feel so bad for them because I felt like, well, it's not as bad as it could be while I was cleaning it up. Um, Katie got in there and started cleaning. Um, Cause it came all the way out down here. <laughs> it came out towards the side door in front of the kitchen sink area. So the poor dog's back there having to smell that stuff. But we can't smell an underlining crap smell. And I was like, let me just go check it because Katie's like I didn't see it because Katie smelled it first and she went back there and checked to see if anything had backed up yeah I checked inside the toilet I didn't check around the toilet well you would have seen it though I think what you smelled was when I was dumping but then I did the blowout I don't know I don't know hopefully it does not happen again if something like this happens again on this trip then we've got a problem and we're gonna have to go to using a bucket 24-7 and I'm gonna have to take it into the RV place and have them look, go over it and find out what the heck I did. But I'm thinking because I shot that thing in instead of flushing, I sprayed. I'm thinking I blew it back up into the camper instead of going down through the dump thing. I had the black tank open, you know, the little pull thing, but I'm thinking I blew it out. I think I'd rather in the future I don't know. I'm thinking I'd rather just pour a few gallons of water down the toilet and uh, and drain it that way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope this is not an ongoing problem. Hope it was an isolated situation because thank goodness for Lysol wipes. And um, we got two bath towels that kind of stink. One is worse. One got it. One got the blow of it. And then the other one, I've put it around the toilet just in case we've got a problem we don't know about. It'll get it next. But, okay, that's life in an RV, I guess. I guess you got to learn lessons, too. All right, see y'all later.